So hi guys, welcome back to the yet another episode of a series of engineering documentaries. In this episode, we'll take a look over the general information and about engineering aspects of India's tallest dam, which is nothing but Tehiri Dam. So let's get started. As in the whole project of the Tehiri hydropower complex, it consists of three specific substructures. First one is the Tehiri Dam and hydropower plant of 1000 megawatts. Second one is the Koteshwar hydroelectric project, which has a capacity of 400 megawatts. And the third one is the Tehiri pump storage plant, which has a capacity of 1000 megawatts. But in this episode, we are focusing on specifically Tehiri dam and hydropower plant only. So first of all, we shall take a look over the important key details of the Tehiri dam. So basically, Tehiri dam is the tallest dam in India, whereas its height is 260.5 meters and it is a multi-purpose dam. The dam is categorized into the embankment dam because it is constructed by major material of earth and rock field. The dam is constructed on Bhagirathi river near the Tihri in the state of Uttarakhand in India. Its reservoir has a total capacity to store water is 4 cubic kilometers and in terms of surface area it is 52 square kilometers. As I said earlier in this episode, we are only focusing on Tehiri Dam, not the whole project of Tehiri Hydropower Complex. So only hydropower plant on the Tehiri Dam has capacity to produce 1000 megawatts of power through the four turbines which has a capacity of 250 megawatts each. The construction of this dam is started in the year 1978 and completed in the year 2006. Funding for the construction is 75% of total funding was provided by the central government and remaining 25% was funded by the state government of Uttar Pradesh. As you might know, till November 9, 2000, the current Uttarakhand was a part of state Uttar Pradesh. Now let's see the whole story of project initiation from start to end. In 1949, Uttar Pradesh government planned to construct a dam on a Bhagirathi river at Tehiri and based on preliminary investigation of 1961, the project was planned and designed with a power generating capacity of only 600 megawatts in 1972. After the detailed feasibility study, the project construction was started in the year 1978. But due to issues of environment and resettlement, the project was delayed despite ongoing administrative, social and environmental activities. In 1986, the Hiri Dam project was agreed to construct it by USSR on a turnkey basis with its technical and financial assistance. But due to political changes in USSR, Russia withdrew its support to the High Dam project and the government of India took the initiation to resume the project with its own financial and technical resources. Tihiri Hydro Development Corporation (THDC) is formed in year 1988, which is the joint undertaking of the central government of India and the government of Uttar Pradesh. Formation of THDC was a major milestone in the implementation and development of the Tehiri Dam project. Local activists and environmentalists filed court cases against the project execution and THDC. In the meantime, project was revised in year 1990 from original 600 megawatts to a new 2400 megawatts multi-purpose project which to be developed in three stages and conditional clearance was also given by the Ministry of Environment and Forests to continue the project. The first stage development is the Tehiri Dam and Hydropower Plant, situated just downstream of the old Tehiri town. The Tehiri Dam and Hydropower Plant have an installed capacity of 1000 megawatts, which is in operation since 2006. And the second stage development is the Koteshwar Dam and Hydropower Plant being constructed at 22 kilometers downstream of the Tehiri main dam. Also, the Koteshwar dam is in operation since 2011 and it has a capacity to generate 400 megawatts of the power. The third stage development of this project is the Tehiri pump storage plant, which will lift the water from lower Koteshwar dam to upper Tehiri dam, which is expected to complete in December 2022. Now let's take a look over the technical details of Tehiri dam. Dam is constructed with a major material as earth and rock field. The dam has a different slopes on both sides. On upstream side, dam has a slope of 1 is to 2.5 and on downstream side, the dam has a slope of 1 is to 2. Whereas the dam has a dimensions as 
height is of 260.5 meters length at a top as 592 meters width at a top as 25.5 meters and flare to 30.5 meters at abutments and the width of dam at riverbed is 1125 meters so basically this is all about the dam dimensions now we'll see about the spillway so three shoot spillways at elevation of 815 meters are provided with radial gates in addition to that dam also has right and left bank shaft spillways which have the shaft diameters of 12 meters now we'll see about the technical details of hydropower project at tehri dam so the machine hall of the powerhouse is underground in which there are four number of units of 250 megawatts each so the total installed capacity of hydroelectric power is 1000 megawatts hydropower plant is designed to operate with the head variation of 90 meters the construction and operation of dam and powerhouse were taken up by Tehri Hydro Development Corporation (THDC) and was commissioned in year 2006. Tehri Dam is situated in Earthquake Zone 4 as per current latest Indian standard IS 1893 Part 1 2016. The dam has a long base and a height of 260.5 meters along with extreme gentle upstream and downstream slopes which greatly reduce the possibility of dam resonance which is the dam's vibration in tune with the frequency of tremors. This would enable the dam to withstand high magnitude of earthquake of on the 8 on the Richter scale. But the design of dam was finalized in 90s when the scientific understanding of seismic hazards and seismic engineering solutions were far less advanced than today. And also, Tehri Dam is situated in highly active central Himalayan seismic zone. But on the other hand, earth and rock filled dams are naturally more earthquake resistant than concrete gravity dams. If dam were to burst, several major towns downstream of the dam with a total population of over half million could be wiped out. Whereas in these regions, landslides are also common on the steep slopes above the Tihiri reservoir. A major landslide into the reservoir could cause a huge wave, which could overtop the dam and cause a massive damage on downstream. It would bury towns on the downstream side within hours and devastating large areas of Gangetic Plains. Now let's see the overall benefits of this project. The power generated from this project is distributed to various states which consist of Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, Delhi, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, Rajasthan and Himachal Pradesh. Because of this dam, additional irrigation of 2.7 lakh hectares is possible in new areas. From the dam reservoir, 162 million gallons per day of water supply to Delhi, which will meet the requirement of about 40 lakh people. In addition to that, 108 million gallons per day of drinking water for the towns and villages of Uttar Pradesh, which will meet the requirement of 30 lakh people. Because of this project, there is a development in the Tihiri region through the better infrastructure and easy availability of electricity. Also, increase in tourism sector, fish irrigation projects and other government projects in Uttarakhand. So, there is employment generation for the local people. Also, rupees 2400 crores profit to the central government every year because of this project. So, before I end up to this episode, let's take a look over the major highlights and present scenario of this Tihiri Dam project. The Tihiri Dam is the tallest dam in India with the height of 260.5 meters and it is a multi-purpose rock and earth fill embankment dam on the Bhagirathi river in Tihiri in the state of Uttarakhand in India. The Tihiri Dam withholds reservoir for irrigation, municipal water supply and the generation of 1000 megawatts of hydroelectricity. In November 2019, the government of India approved the takeover of the Tihiri Hydro Development Corporation (THTC) by the NTPC Limited. Today, in India, millions of people have lived without home, but not one without water. And this Tihiri Dam provides water and electricity to millions of people. And this is where its importance lies.